Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this video, I'm going to talk about high estrogen levels in men. Now, men, we do have estrogen. I always say it's like the 80-20 rule. We have 80% testosterone, 20% estrogen, and as we age, our testosterone levels decrease, which in turn, our estrogen levels increase. This is why as men get older, they slow their, they have a lower libido, they get a higher voice, so forth and so on. However, a lot of times men are hitting that, that part sooner. Now, estrogen is not bad for us. It does serve purposes. A couple, one, it regulates testosterone. It's good for skin health. It helps control our sexual function and libido. It's good for our brain. It's good for our bone health. It's good for our heart function. Also too, it's good for cholesterol re regulation. Okay, so again, estrogen is not bad for us. It's just that if you have too much of it too soon, it can be, it, 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 it hurts your health. So, what are some high estrogen symptoms? Some high, high estrogen symptoms in no particular order, but sexual dysfunction. What happens if a man has too little testosterone and too much estrogen, it lowers his libido. Because remember, your libido is testosterone based. You have decreased morning erections. Males should have erections while they sleep and also morning erections. That's a sign of good testosterone health. Also too, decreased erectile fun function. So when, I, when patients are talking to me, I always ask them, do they, do they have a hard time starting the race, maintaining the race, or finishing the race? Because that could be an indicator that it's too much estrogen in your system and not enough testosterone. Enlarged breasts, man boobs, okay? Our estrogen receptors for fat are in our male breasts and our gut. So if you have too much estrogen, yes, this is where you become in, this is where you get enlarged breasts for men, man boobs. Also too, increase abdominal fat, which is the visceral fat. Feeling tired all the time. Males who are, have high levels of testosterone should not be feeling tired. Testosterone gives you energy. So if you lower your testosterone level, increasing your estrogen, this is where you're feeling tired all the time. Also too, loss of muscle mass. High estrogen levels will decrease muscle mass no matter how much you work out because it's the testosterone that builds the muscle tissue. Also too, emotional disturbances. Depression. A lot of men who are depressed, depression hits males and females totally different, okay? Females is one way. For males who are depressed, it's because they're not, they don't have enough testosterone. They have too much estrogen. Also too, type two diabetes. Again, that's high levels of estrogen will preempt a man for type two diabetes. Also too, increase the risk of uh, prostate cancer. Now, if you have too much estrogen in the system, it increases the chances of prostate cancer. Okay, so this is not good for men. So the levels, for the average woman, varies according to their cycle. So for the average woman, you're looking anywhere from 27 to 370 picograms per milliliter, okay? For males, we're looking at 15 to 60. On the average, 20, 27 to 30. So again, you can see that there's a big, there's a big difference between the males and females in the, in the circulating estrogen levels in their system. So how does this happen? Okay, so what are some of the causes of males having higher estrogen levels in their system? Well, one, it could just be aging. As males get older, we decrease our testosterone levels and inadvertently we increase our estrogen levels. So the average man of 65 years old has more circulating estrogen levels than his postmenopausal female counterpart. So more estrogen than a postmenopausal female. Why? Because there is an enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen, and that's called aromatase. Also, too, it could be the reason why increased fat, okay? Fat tissue contains this enzyme aromatase. Now, the, the more fat that a man has on his, on his body, again, in large breasts, belly fat, visceral fat, he's producing more aromatase. So what's going on? Fat serves as a reservoir for storing estradiol. Estradiol is a primary estrogen that females in their prime years need for their, uh, for their menstrual cycle. Also too, foods. Foods is a big one. <clears throat> GMO foods, dairy foods. Again, what happens is with, the, with the GMO and the dairy, especially dairy farmers, 
Remember, they're increasing the levels of estrogen hormones in their cattle, in their feed, or GMO foods. 90% of GMO food is predominantly estrogen laced. So this is another reason why males are increasing, have high levels of estrogen in their system. Also too, faulty feedback. The brain works on a negative feedback loop, and this is very, very hard to reverse, especially if you're not willing to change your diet and exercise. So what happens when males have high levels of estrogen circling in their system, the brain, the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary gland, kind of shuts down the signal to produce more testosterone. Okay, so when males have higher levels of estrogen, it inadvertently shuts down the production of testosterone. So what can we do about it? Okay, so then what do you do? So the main goal when I'm talking with my patients is you want to increase your testosterone and lower the estrogen in your system, okay? So in no particular order, the best way to do it, cruciferous vegetables, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, so forth and so on. That will help, that will, that will inhibit the enzyme aromatase that converts testosterone to estrogen. So you want to eat, increase your cruciferous vegetables. How much? Just eat them. Again, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, so forth and so on. That will help decrease your estrogen levels in your system. Also too, decrease the phytoestrogen foods. Stop eating the foods that gives you increased estrogen. Soy. Soy is man's worst friend, okay? Now, there's different types of soy, I know, but I always throw ca caution in the wind, just don't eat soy altogether. Again, soy isolated protein mixes, don't, don't eat them. Also too, soybeans, tofu, and beer. Beer will, again, stimulates the estrogen receptors in the male's breast tissue and the visceral fat. That increases estrogen, decreases testosterone. Face it, you never see anybody who's fit and trim who's an avid beer drinker. Also too, increase your fiber, exercise, decrease weight. When you do those, you're decreasing the estrogen levels naturally because why? Because when males exercise, when we exercise, it increases our testosterone levels. When you increase your testosterone level, you have the potential to increase building muscle mass, which will inadvertently lower your estrogen levels. Also too, supplements. Indole 3 carbonyl, 200 milligrams daily, DIM, 100 milligrams daily, vitamin B12, folate, choline, take these supplements. What you're looking for, you're looking to do two things. One, stimulate the body's natural production of testosterone, but also two, uh, inhibit the enzyme aromatase, which in indole 3 carbonyl and DIM, they inhibit that aromatase enzyme that converts testosterone to estrogen. That's the main function behind the cruciferous vegetables. Also too, foods, what foods to eat? Remember, eliminate the phytoestrogen foods. What you want to do, increase the meat, increase the fish, shellfish, grass-fed of course, eggs, eat the whole egg. All the good stuff is in the yolk, okay? I grew up on eating only egg whites until about a couple years ago. All the good stuff is in the yolk, so you want the whole egg. And also too, lastly, it did wonders for Popeye, spinach. Spinach will help, again, spinach will help increase testosterone levels naturally, which thus will lower your estrogen levels. Okay, so again, here's your solution. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.